Today's flashback story is a two-alarm fire at 300 Warren Street in Roxbury. The fire broke out at about 6 a.m. on 1-15-1997 in the rooming house type building. When I first arrived, the front door to the building was fully ablaze. I ran some video in the front and then I uh, went around to the back because I heard a lot of commotion going on back there. Multiple ladder rescues were made in the rear of the building. This was made extra difficult because there was very little room in the back of the building. The amount of room to set up ladders behind the building seemed to vary from just enough to uh, very, very, very tight. There were also overhead wires back there that made it difficult to uh, raise a ladder once you got it back there. Uh, they had to work their way around the uh, overhead wires to raise the ladders. Nine residents and two firefighters were treated for smoke inhalation and other non-life-threatening injuries. The rooming house had housed about 40 people. I could hear trapped residents on the upper floors hanging out windows and screaming for help. Firefighters were yelling back at the people, telling them uh, to stay calm and not to jump. The building had no fire escape. I believe it was about five stories high. Resident Celeste Royal had uh, sustained injuries to her hands in the form of cuts when she tried to uh, exit the building. She said that the uh, window to her room had been uh, cocked to uh, keep out the cold and this made it difficult to open the window. She complained that this uh, energy saving measure had nearly cost her her life. The light from my camera was used to uh, help shed a little light on uh, what was going on behind the building. And driven out resident Edward Gonzalez <coughs> had a room on the fourth floor and is credited with uh, rousting the uh, people on the fourth floor and helping get them out.
He said that other residents on the fourth floor were very heavy sleepers and he had to bang on doors and make a lot of noise to uh, try and get them up and moving out. He said that he lost everything in the uh, fire, everything that he owned. Just another great job by Boston Fire. When I first got to the uh, rear of the building, there was one ladder that was already up, but uh, more were needed. I saw one Boston fireman climb up the ladder and then jump in the window. I believe it was on the fourth or fifth floor. Must be a uh, strange feeling to climb a ladder and then jump into a burning building. Watch out, somebody else coming somebody out! Somebody else coming out! Watch out! Well, anyhow, that's a flashback story for today. To see the actual video on this, uh, click on the link beneath this video, and that'll take you right there. Once you're there, if you want to come back here, click on the link beneath that video that says Return. If you like these videos, uh, you could subscribe. That'll give you updates as to when new ones are put up. And uh, also, if you could hit the like button, that would be appreciated. Well, anyhow, that's it for today. Keep the rubber side down. Stay safe out there. Remember, there's danger everywhere. And also, remember, I'll be back.